Hi there. This is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. I'm here to show you how to set up DNSSEC on your domain. DNSSEC stands for Domain Name Service Security. It helps you to protect your visitors from forms of attack, such as spoofing or man in the middle. It uses digital signatures and a special kind of DNS record called a DS record to secure your domain's DNS entries. DNS servers will compare the DNS server's DS record to the DS record at the registrar. If they match, then the visitor knows that the record is valid. Please note, you will need access to the Zone Editor interface and your hosting provider must run PowerDNS as the name server on your server. Are you ready? Then let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Here we are in the cPanel home interface. Let's scroll down to the domain section and click Zone Editor. The Zone Editor interface will appear. There's a lot in this Zone Editor interface, but we'll go over the Zone Editor interface in another video, okay? Look for the domain that you wish to manage. I'll be working with cPanelDNSSecTest.com. Then, click DNSSec. The DNSSec interface will appear. This interface allows you to manage DNSSec keys, and it lists all of your existing keys on the domain. Since we don't have any keys for this domain yet, we can either import a key or create a new one. Let's create a new key. Click Create Key. A confirmation message will appear. It says that your server will create two keys that most registrars support. But you can create a customized security key if you need to. For this step, let's go with the default keys. I'll show you the other option later in the video. So, click Create. A success message will appear. It displays the key tag, the algorithm number, and a list of digests. Now, we need to go to our domain registrar. If you're not sure who your domain registrar is, click the Who is my registrar link to open a helpful page in our documentation. For this video, I'm going to use GoDaddy. If you're using a registrar other than GoDaddy, go to their portal and search for Help DNSSEC. I'll open GoDaddy's website in a browser and then log in. Okay, I'm in their portal. And now I see a list of the domains that I have registered at GoDaddy. Then I'll select the cPanel DNSSEC test domain. Click Manage. Another new interface will appear. Scroll down a bit and click Manage DNS. Another new interface will appear. Scroll down a bit and then click DNSSEC. A new interface will appear. Finally, we'll click Add. A new interface will appear. Okay. The information that GoDaddy wants is the key tag, the algorithm, the digest type, and the digest. Let's go back to the cPanel interface and copy the key tag and paste it into the GoDaddy interface. Then we'll select an algorithm. Our cPanel key uses algorithm 8. Notice how GoDaddy supports a long list of different algorithm numbers. But for now, let's select the algorithm 8 because that's what we use to generate the key in cPanel. Next, we'll see which digest types are supported by GoDaddy. GoDaddy supports digest types 1 and 2. The highest number in common is digest type 2. Let's copy that digest. Let's go back to the Registrar's interface and we'll select Digest Type 2 and then we'll paste the digest into the Digest text box and click Update. There, 
we've configured DNSSEC on our server and at our registrar. Our registrar may take a while to confirm that it's all correct and working. Let's go back to the cPanel interface and then go back to our DNSSEC interface and we see our list of keys. Let's say that you want to create custom keys with a stronger algorithm. Click Create Key and that window appears again. This time we'll click Customize. The Create DNSSEC Key interface will appear. Here you can select the key setup, the algorithm of your key, and the status of the key, whether it's active or not. Algorithms use algorithm numbers. The higher the number, the more secure the key. As of the making of this video, cPanel supports algorithms 8, 10, 13, and 14. Registrars support a wide range of algorithm numbers, as we saw with the GoDaddy interface. Classic keys support all algorithm numbers, while simple keys support more advanced algorithms, number 13 or greater. Also, simple keys are easier to transfer. If you can, use a simple key. I've already selected simple. And I'll select algorithm 14. And set the key to active. Then we'll click create a success message will appear. And the interface displays all the new keys information. Let's click Go Back to return to the list. If you transfer a domain from one server to another and you already have a DNSSEC key for it, you may need to import the key to the new server. To import an existing key, click Import. The Import Keys interface will appear. Here, we can select the key type, KSK or ZSK. Your registrar or hosting provider will let you know which type it is. And for more information about those key types, we'll put a link to our documentation in the description. Then, paste the contents of the key into the key text box. And click Import to finish this process. I don't have a key to import, so I'll click Go Back to go back to the previous interface. You can click View DS Records to view a key's information. It displays the key tag, the algorithm number, and a list of digests. Once again, click Go Back. If you need to rotate your security key, you need to perform the following steps. Create a new key add it to your registrar, wait a day or two, and then deactivate the old key. You must do these steps in this order, and be sure to wait a day or two, otherwise visitors might not be able to see your website because it doesn't contain an active security key for DNSSEC. To deactivate a key, click Deactivate. A warning message will appear. Click Deactivate, and the system will deactivate the key. To activate a key, click Activate. The system will activate the key. To delete a key, click Delete. A warning message will appear. Click Delete, and the system will delete the key. I've added a link in the video's description to our documentation on how to rotate DNSSEC keys, and links to our other DNSSEC documentation. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, visit cPanel.com, or follow us on Twitter, at cPanel. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments. And for more helpful videos, subscribe to our cPanel channel. Thank you for watching, and enjoy!